Hello, and welcome to Your Money 2.0. I'm Thomas Fox, Community Outreach Director at Cambridge Credit Counseling. The holiday shopping season is upon us, and you may be wondering just how you're going to make it through December without burying yourself in debt. That's a great question, since a survey by Consumer Reports indicates that 13.6 million Americans are still in debt from last year's holiday season. With all the deals on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you may have found yourself tempted to be the jolliest gift giver of the season. But creating a holiday spending plan is rooted in practicality, not holiday miracles. Rather than repeat last year's mistakes, you should try basing your holiday spending plan on cash rather than plastic. You see, there's a disconnect between plastic and reality that causes many people to spend well beyond their ability to comfortably repay the cost of their credit card gift charges. That is, within the first two months after the purchases were made. Spending cash keeps us within our means, while plastic edges us off the gift-giving cliff. Simply put, money doesn't feel like money when you use a piece of plastic. But chances are pretty good that you'll remain painfully aware of what you're spending if you have to hand over a stack of $20 bills to purchase the latest techno gadget. Using cash forces us to stay aware of just how much we can afford to spend, and helps to protect us from getting carried away with plastic, a gift to your creditors that keeps on giving. Your local mall or online retailers aren't necessarily your only options for gift giving. Some of the best presents are those that have meaning beyond their monetary value. If you are skilled in a particular area, use your strengths in your gift giving plan. For instance, if you're skilled with your hands, you might consider making some gift for your loved ones. Knit a sweater, build a coffee table, or create a one-of-a-kind website for a friend or loved one. Time is another valuable gift. If you can't commit a lot of money to holiday shopping, Give your time. We all have projects we'd like to complete, but sometimes we lack the manpower to get it done. Gifting your time to friends and loved ones will not only help clean up their to-do list, but will also lead to some quality time to strengthen relationships. In spite of the well-intentioned advice we get from friends, some of us are hopelessly enthralled by the holiday season. I have a few of these folks in my own family. Despite their modest financial position, these individuals go all out on their spending during the holiday season even when their circumstances say they shouldn't. If this describes you or someone you know, be sure to set achievable goals for managing your holiday debt. Set your holiday spending budget with a repayment deadline, a few months at most, to avoid paying more than you can afford in interest. Such a strategy is really a gift to yourself since you don't want to still be paying for this year's gifts when the holidays come around next year. Well, that's it for this edition. As always, we welcome your feedback and ask for your thoughts and suggestions by emailing us at yourmoney2 at cambridgecredit.org. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Thomas Fox for Cambridge Credit Counseling.